everyone! Welcome back to Kidding Around. My name is Melanie Smith and I think it is fabulous that you are here with me today on another fun film Friday. Today we will be talking about the movie Babe and we will also get to make this very cute pig spinner. Before we do that though, if you like what you're seeing here and want to follow along with all of Kidding Around's videos, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you really like what you're doing here, please share us with your friends. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's move on to the movie Babe. Do you know this one? It is a lovely, heartwarming film about a little pig who finds himself unexpectedly on a farm. It goes like this. The farmer, Arthur Hoggett, wins Babe as a piglet at a county fair. Babe narrowly escapes his fate at Christmas dinner when Farmer Hoggett decides to show him at the next fair. So then Babe ends up bonding with the Border Collie Fly and discovers that he can herd sheep too. But what do you think? Will the other farm animals, including Fly's jealous husband, accept a pig who doesn't conform to the farm's social hierarchy? What do you think? Do you think it ends all right? Well, you will have to watch it and find out. But before that, I think it would be really fun to be able to make a little pig spinner that we could name Babe. So in order to do this, you will need a few supplies. You will need two paper plates. There are many different types of paper plates. These are like the flimsiest paper plate that you can buy. These are the best for this craft. You will also need two googly eyes. You will need some surface protection because we'll be painting. You will need some pink paint. You can see here that I'm almost out of two bottles. I'm not quite sure how that happened, but I have them upside down so we have enough to make our babe. Uh, you'll need a glue stick. You'll need some ribbon. A uh, twirly ribbon would be fine. The, um, the curling ribbon, I guess, is what I mean. Um, or you can use fabric ribbon. Uh, you will need a paintbrush. You will need a Sharpie marker, a pencil, a pair of scissors, and some tape. So let's get started. All right, the first thing that we are going to do in order to make our twirly babe is that we are going to paint our two uh, flimsy paper plates pink. All right, so there is no finesse to this. We are just going to put some paint like I said, I'm almost out here. Let me see if my other um, my other container is a little bit better. All right, oh yeah, that's good. All right, so we are just going to take our paint. You can put it right on the paper plate, take a bigger brush, and then just spread this paint around. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't really have to be uh, pretty. You don't have to use a lot of care in this. Really, we are just trying to cover our paper plates. You will notice as you paint with this paint, it kind of gets the paper plate wet, which makes the paper plate kind of flatten out, and that's totally fine. That will work perfectly well for our purposes. All right, so I am just spreading this paint around. What do you think? Do you think I have enough to finish these plates? Man, I hope I do, although I have a secret in my back pocket because I didn't want to have to wait for these to dry. Uh, while I was filming this, I actually already have painted plates. But I'm going to paint these uh, right now just in case you're painting along with me. That way we'll be together. All right, and then at the very end, I am just going over one final time just to kind of make sure that all of my strokes are going the same way. All right, and then I'll lay that out to dry, and then I'm going to paint the other plate that I have, and man, this is going to be nip and tuck, isn't it? But sometimes it's nice to be able to use up all of your supplies. That way you know it was a good purchase, right? If you use every last drop. All right, so we just continue painting, getting that pink paint all spread out. This is acrylic paint, which works pretty well. You could also use tempera paint if you wanted. That would work pretty well too. And if you don't have pink paint, you might have red and white, and so you could mix your own. That's kind of fun too. All right, so I am going to just keep covering up this white 
like I said, I am very close to the end of my bottles of paint. Let's see if I try this one. This seemed a little bit drier. That kind of happens when you, uh, when you store paint. Sometimes it kind of dries up, and so it doesn't work the best. Sometimes you can put some water in it and shake it around, and that'll help. Yeah, I think this one is probably done. Maybe that's why I have two bottles. All right, well, I will spread this out as much as I can, but you know that when you are doing this, you would uh, completely cover your two plates. And because of the magic of video, I can show you that I already have my two dry pink paper plates. So we are just going to go ahead with these. And I would recommend, I would highly recommend that you wait for your plates to dry just like mine are. If you get a little impatient, pull out that hair dryer and you can absolutely dry them a little bit faster. Okay, but once you have your two completely pink dry paper plates, you get to start cutting the plates to make this pig design. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to cut the swirl. All right, so to do that, you cut into the paper plate at a bit of an angle, and then you kind of go around this center for a little bit, and then when you get to where you're like halfway around that circle, you can see I cut in here and I'm about halfway around, then you start moving in towards the center of the plate, and you want to continue moving in as you cut. Now, I will tell you, this can absolutely be tricky. So, I would recommend, if you're concerned about it, to draw the, the spiral. Here, I'll draw it on the white so you can see it, but draw the spiral before you cut. So you can draw a spiral like this. See right there, I'm about halfway in, so then I will start moving in, and then I just continue kind of moving towards the center as I go. So if you draw it first, then you can just cut right along those lines and you will know for sure that you are cutting your spiral correctly. It's up to you. You can do it just with scissors or you can start with your pencil. All right, so once you have your spiral cut, you can just set it aside for a little bit. We'll come back to that. And then the next thing that you are going to do is take your other pink paper plate and you are going to cut out the circle for the head of the pig. So to do that, I am just going to cut straight in on my plate, and then I am going to cut out that middle circle. It's nice, we can see on, on these paper plates that that middle circle is kind of already drawn out for us. So we just draw that, or we just cut along that line. There we go, now we have our head. So we're going to set this aside, and now, we are going to work on our pig's ears. So to do that, I am going to cut a strip of the outer edge of the paper plate, and this is, what, two and a half to three inches probably, and then I am going to cut another one about the same size. So I'm just going to line up the first one that I cut, I'll line it up, and then I will use that as my template to cut my second one. These don't have to be exactly the same size, but we want them to be relatively the same size because we want the pig's ears to be about the same size. All right, so then once you have these, you are going to, you can see I'm holding the straight edge that I cut, you are going to kind of go along that and just round out that sharp corner that was at the top. And then I am going to just go in here at the bottom and cut out kind of an upside down U. And there we go, I have my pig ear. And then I'm going to do that on the other side as well. Now, I cut this one this way with the ridges to the left. I am going to, for my second pig ear, turn those ridges of the plate to the right. And that will just allow the symmetry of the ears to work. So now I am going to just cut this corner off, so you can see there, I've done the same thing, but in the opposite direction, and then I am going to cut out a U-shape down here, down at the bottom, and there we go. I have my two ears. Okay, once you have your two ears, you can go ahead and set those aside, and now we're going to work on the pig's 
feet. So the pig has four feet. So to do those, we are just going to cut four little sections of this outer paper, paper plate ring. So we just did that. They should be about the same size, but they don't have to be exactly the same size. If you want to cut one and then use it as your template to cut the others, that's totally fine. If you want to just kind of eyeball it, that's cool too, whatever works for you. All right, and then I am going to come in here with my scissors on the smaller edge, so this is the bigger edge, I'm going to come in on the smaller edge and I am going to cut two U's, or maybe a W, that's probably a better analogy. All right, so I'm cutting the U hump and then I'm making it a W. And these are making the hooves of your pig. All right, so I've done three, and here is my fourth. Now, you are going to take your Sharpie marker, and you are going to color in those hooves. So to do that, you just put your, um, put your line across the bottom, like, or I guess across the top of the W's, and you know what? I am just realizing that I should have some paper, some surface protection under my, um, under my feet. So I'm going to put the line just at the top of the W and then I am going to color in everything from that line down to the bottom of this pig's feet. And it's up to you. You can decide how much you want to color this in. If you want to color it in solidly, go for it. If you don't want it to color, if you don't want to color it in so solidly, that's okay too. I will tell you that the Sharpie marker on this paint surface sometimes gets a little dry, and so it, it's a little bit hard to draw with your marker at times. If that happens, just flip your marker over, and then you can use the other side of it while the other, the first side kind of rehydrates. All right, so you color in your pig feet, and because you have the paper beneath you, you are not worried about ruining the surface of your table. Um, so that's always a great thing to have handy. Scratch paper is always a lovely thing to have around when you're crafting. Okay, so there we go. I now have four pig feet. Okay, so now I'm going to set those aside. And I am now going to make our pig's snout. So to do that, I am just going to cut a circle here as big as I can. So I'm going to try to use from this part to this part in my circle. And this is something that if you don't feel comfortable cutting without drawing it, please, please feel free to draw it on first. That always works. All right, so now I have my circle pig snout and I am going to draw two circles in here. There are its nostrils. And then I am going to cut off that little scrap piece from my circle. And then I am going to cut one narrow piece of the plate rim, and I am going to fold it into a U. All right, so this is what is going to keep our pig snout or make it look 3D, or actually make it 3D, so that will stand out from its face. You can see here, I have glued that on so that the pig snout stands out from its face. All right, and then we have one last thing to do, and that is the pigtail. And I will tell you, I see that my pigtail fell off. You can see there that I had the glue on it, but it looks like it fell off as I was moving it to the studio. But no worries. We're going to definitely make a pigtail for our babe that we're making together. So I am going to cut um, a part of my plate rim off, and then I am going to cut a narrow strip of the, the part that I just cut. So this is two to three inches long, and then I am going to wrap that around my marker to make it a curly tail. Okay, so now it comes off, and there we go. Doesn't that look like a cute pig curly tail? Okay, so now we are done making all of the cuts that we need to make, so we are going to assemble our pig. 
All right, so the first thing that we are going to do is put our pig head on our pig body. So that's taking that circle part that you cut out of your second plate, and we are now going to glue it to this middle part of the other paper plate so that it can be a spiral connected. All right, so to do that, I take my glue stick and I glue on the smaller piece of the, um, the project. This is my smaller piece. This is my bigger piece. It's always better to glue on the smaller piece. And then I am just going to attach it there, and I'll hold it for a few seconds just to make sure that there's contact there. Again, just like with the Sharpie markers that you used on this paint, um, because the paint kind of dries out the surface, it takes a little bit of extra work with your glue. Um, so just make sure that they're connected. All right, and then once I have that, then I am going to take this uh, piece of paper plate that I had that kind of forms the U, and I am going to glue this onto first the snout, and then I will glue it on to the face. So again, I'm gluing on the smaller piece of paper, and then I am going to put this on my snout, and I will hold it just for a couple seconds just to make sure that it sticks, especially on that paint. And then I will glue the other side, and I will put it in the center of my pig's face. <laughs> oh, and you know what? You can see right there that that glue didn't quite stick. It will stick as it dries, but I'm just going to put it back and press it down just like I'm pressing down the the other part to the pig face. Okay, so now we'll let that dry. Now we're going to put our googly eyes on our pig. So I am just going to put some glue on the back of the eye and then I will press it down lightly. I don't want to dent the, the bubble, the plastic bubble over the eye, but I do want it to stick. So I have to find that happy medium. All right, oh my goodness, it's already looking pig-like, don't you think? Oh, that one, you know, I think I'm going to put a little bit more glue on there. I kind of want it to slide around on me a bit. All right, so there we go. We'll let that dry. Now we're going to take our ears and we are going to put them on our pig. So to do that, I am just going to take these two ears and glue right along this edge that would have been closest to the center of the plate. So I will just run my glue right along there, and then I will tuck it behind the pig head. And again, I'm holding tight. And then I'll take my other ear and do the same thing, but with the other side. There we go. All right, now what is our pig missing? What do you think we need now? I think our pig, our babe, needs some feet. Now the feet are kind of interesting. You can kind of put the feet really anywhere you want. Um, so I kind of have to lift up the center of the pig, the head, and I will put the first two feet kind of here on that first spiral, and then I will put the other feet out here on the outside edge of the spiral. But again, you can put them anywhere you want. So to put these feet on, you turn your uh, feet over to glue them, and then you will glue them right there along the spiral where you'd like. All right, and then we'll do the second one. Pigs need four feet, right? Um, you know, I'm not finding a great place for this. I'm actually going to put this foot clear up here in the on the next spiral. Don't worry, as it as it um, pulls out, as it stretches out when we hang it, you will see all four feet. So no worries, you can put them really anywhere you'd like. All right, and then I will put this foot here. Let's see, I'll put it, I'll move it out just a little bit, and I'll hold it down just a few seconds, and then I will put this foot over on this side, and again, I will hold it down for a few seconds. Now, as you can see, my pig nose has unglued itself, so I'm going to go fix that right now. <laughs> so again, I'm going to put, let's see, I'm going to put even some more glue on here than I did the first time, because I just want it to stick. And the dryness of the paint makes that a little bit hard. You did see, though, that the snout was glued to the U, so that's good. That was the first thing that fell off. 
So it's always good to be able to just go back and fix things as necessary. It's no big deal, just fix it, right? If something doesn't work right, just try to fix it and move on. All right, do you think I've held it long enough? I'm really pressing down. I want it to make good contact. All right, well, as that's drying, let's put our tail on. And we can tell from this one that that tail is a little bit tricky and it's because it's curved and it's the painty, the dry painty surface. So I am going to put quite a bit of glue on and then I will put it at the back of the pig, kind of towards the top of the pig's head. But as it stretches out, it will look like the back of the pig. All right, so I'm going to hold this for a few extra seconds because I know that this glue probably doesn't want to stick completely. Okay, so once you have your uh, pig completed, then it's your chance to put on the ribbon that you will be able to hang the pig by or hold the pig by. So I have some cute pink and white polka dot ribbon but you know, you don't have to use this type of ribbon. You can use uh, curling ribbon that you would use to wrap a present, or if you have some fabric ribbon around, that's great. Of course, it doesn't have to be pink either. Use whatever you have around. All right, so then I am going to put the ribbon on the back of the pig head, at the top of the pig head, and then I will take a piece of tape and I will just tape it on. And you know what? An eye just fell off. <laughs> so now we're going to fix the eye. I do guarantee that once this gets completely dry, they will stick. I'm probably moving this around a little bit too much. I'm kind of pushing the time because I want to show it all to you. But if you, uh, once you get it to this point, then maybe, just why don't you just wait a few minutes as all the glue dries and you will have better success than I am having right now. But even so, you know what, I have to say, I think my pig looks pretty good. He'll definitely look a little bit better as I reattach this foot. <laughs> okay, so at this point, you wait for a few minutes. Just leave your pig sitting on a table, let him dry, and then after five minutes, you can pick him up and you will have a curly, twirly, babe pig. I would love to see your babes. Please ask a grown-up to take a picture of yours and put that on our Facebook page. Well, I hope that you have had as much fun as I have today making this babe and I hope that you get the chance to go and watch his movie. I guarantee that you will like it. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for kidding around with me. I will see you next time.